uh, Mushtaba says, when we meet our elders, we meet and greet them by bowing down a little out of respect and they put their hands on our heads. Is this permissible? If not, then advise me on how should we greet elders. This mujtaba includes bowing, which bowing is a ibadah, is a form of worship to Allah Azza wa Jal. Muslims do not bow, do not prostrate other than to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is a form of worship which cannot be diverted or redirected to any other than Allah Azza wa Jal. Therefore, bowing down even a little for the elders and for them to put their hands over the heads, and I'm presuming it's the same gender or it's mahram, this is not permissible because this so shows a great deal and amount of submission. So you are submissive to this uncle or to this grandfather and you're bowing your head and you're waiting for the blessing of him touching your head. All of this is not permissible. So what to do, Sheikh? If we don't do this, they become angry. This makes it even worse. See, kissing the hand of a parent is totally legit. Kissing the hand of a scholar is permissible if it is a form of getting closer to Allah, not a form of praising this scholar. The scholars say, such as Imam Nawawi and, and others, if the person you're kissing his hand is giving you his hand to kiss, like some of you know, the officials and the big shots, they expect everyone to kiss their hands or to kiss their ring. If someone does this, it becomes more prohibited for you to do that. You should not do this, even if he becomes angry, because then this is a form of humiliation. He's humiliating you by you kissing his hand. So what do you think about someone who expects you to bow to him? But what about the Japanese? It's a culture in Japan and maybe, I don't know, if in Korea or somewhere else, where they just, you know, uh, uh, bow down in Korishua. This is not permissible. It's a cultural thing. But when Islam comes, it transforms you inside out. So whatever is permissible in our religion, you have the green light. If not, then you have to refrain. Whether people are angry or happy, this is not our problem. My problem is that Allah would be happy with me.